Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take 3 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. That is, here we have x minus 1. 4 raised to the power 6 minus 3 raised to the power 6, then equals to 0 here. The next step here, I write this as x minus 1. 4 raised to the power 3. Then all raised to power 2 minus also 3 raised to power 3, then all raised to power 2 equals to 0 here. And this follows when we have a square minus b square, which can be written as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. That is here a standing as x minus 1 all raised to power 3. And b standing as 3 raised to power 3. Then what we have here becomes x minus 1 all raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 into brackets. Also open brackets x minus 1 all raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 close brackets equals to. 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 1, all raised to power 3, plus 3 raised to power 3, equals to 0. Or we have x minus 1, all raised to power 3, minus 3 raised to power 3, equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, open bracket, a square minus ab plus b square. That is here. What we have becomes x minus 1 plus 3 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 1 all square minus 3 times x minus 1 plus 3 squared close brackets equals to 0 here. That is, yeah, what we have becomes x plus 2 into brackets. Then here, expansion gives us x squared minus 2x plus 1. The minus 3 open this bracket, we have minus 3x plus 3. Then plus 3 squared, that's 9, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then here, yeah, we can bring this together and we have x plus 2 into brackets. Then also we have x squared minus 2x minus 3, that's minus 5x. 3 plus 9, that's 12. Then plus 1, that's plus 13, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases as well. The first one, x plus 2 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 5x plus 13 equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 2, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 13 and applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a that is here we have x equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 13 over 2 times 1, which implies we have x equals to minus times minus here, that's plus, we have 5, plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared, that's 25, then minus 4 times 1 times 13, that gives us 52, then over 2 here. That is, here we have x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 
25 minus 52. That gives us minus 27 over 2. Then here we have x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 here. Then when we separate this root 9, that's 3, we take it out and we have x equals to 5 plus or minus 3. Then we have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. Then here we have two complex solutions from here. Then, so from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a minus b into brackets, open bracket, a square plus a b plus b square. So this here, what we have follow this and becomes x minus 1 minus 3 into brackets, then open bracket x minus 1 or square, then plus 3 times x minus 1 plus 3 square, close brackets, equals to 0 here. Then here, this becomes x minus 4 into brackets, then open bracket expansion here we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then 3 open this bracket we have plus 3x minus 3. Then plus 3 squared that's 9 close brackets equals to 0 here. Then we can write this and we have x minus 4 into brackets. Then open bracket x squared minus 2x plus 3x. I give us plus x. Then 9 minus 3, that's 6, plus 1, half plus 7, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then we also have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 4 equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus x plus 7 equals to 0 here. And on this side, we have x equals to 4, which is also a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation. We are a equals to 1, b equals to 1, and also c equals to 7. Applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 7 over 2 times 1. At this here, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square, that's 1 minus 4 times 1 times 7, that's 28 over 2. That is, this same thing as x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 28, that's minus 27 over 2. Then, here we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. That is here. When we separate this root 9, that's 3. We take it and we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 3. Then we have root 3. Root minus 1 is i over 2. So also here we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, all together in this problem, we have six solutions here. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and also two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.